he didn't leave the house very much, so I knew he had to be in there. A Kalamazoo house fire turns deadly. Firefighters were simply unable to get into a home packed with belongings and the homeowner became trapped inside. It happened in the 700 block of Walnut just before 730 this morning. News Channel 3's Lauren Springer broke the story during News Channel 3 at noon. She's live tonight to explain the challenges, Lauren, that firefighters faced on scene. Kate, Andy, we did just receive an update from the fire marshal. He was just leaving for the day within the last two minutes or so. So a very full day for those working to fight this fire. He says right now there is no indication as to what started this. He says there's a lot of damage inside, and that's exactly what fire crews found when they showed up and tried to get into the home. But by that time, it was just too dangerous. I was just worried. I first wanted to make sure that it wasn't my house and I didn't realize it. Neighbors here on the 700 block of Walnut startled awake by the sound of sirens this morning. Black smoke pouring from this house when help arrived just before 730. When they were tearing the windows down, stuff was just pouring out of the house. It stacked up to the ceiling. From the start, it wasn't safe for crews to enter the house. They tell us it was jam packed. The stuff inside acting as kindling to fuel the fire just engulfed the whole house within minutes. It wasn't until about an hour later that firefighters were able to tear into this window. Neighbors say that's where they found the homeowner of 30 years, William Hall, dead inside, a known hoarder. He kept a lot of newspapers and other material around. Um, I, I knew it was probably bad. I didn't realize how bad it was until they cut a hole in the wall. The Kalamazoo Hoarding Task Force launched about a year ago, hoping to help those affected. We really feel that awareness is the key. The more people are aware of it, the more they'll be open to getting help. The vice chair also helps clean hoarder homes. He says the best approach is to connect with the person directly and know that these things take time. A lot of the times the people that are struggling with hoarding disorder truly do care about other people and spend a lot of time putting other people before themselves. This group hoping to put those with hoarding disorders first to prevent situations like these. I'm guessing it was probably preventable, um, so that, that's probably the saddest part. Now, one thing that the Kalamazoo Fire Marshal did just share with us, he says inside of this home there were not working smoke detectors. He says even neighbors next door can hear a smoke detector if it is activated, which is one of the things that makes them such a valuable life-saving tool. Reporting live tonight in Kalamazoo, Lauren Springer, News Channel 3.